So we're here in Louth, and it's a lovely and cold day, as you can see with the hats. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go into town and have a, a little explore. Got me uh, Kevin and Perry going on. You have, Mr. Patterson. <laughs> now I got my woolly hat on because I don't have particularly long hair, so. Well, I've got a bad hair day, so that's covering uh, a busted settee, basically. <laughs> so we came on up from up there. That's where the livestock market is. We parked near it, we didn't park in it. This looks pretty reasonable, look at that. Baby, lunchtime special. Oh yeah. I don't know where it's for, Il Padrino. What's there? Is that Marlon Brando there? Yeah, it's um, two course lunch special, soup of the day with lasagna or cannelloni. And then you can have a soft drink, tea, coffee, or a small glass of wine for 13 50 Do you think that's where all the Lincoln Mafia dons eat? <laughs> Quite possibly. See the church, it's a church. Yeah, there's something about a spire on this I've read on the internet about it being tallest in country or something. All right. But I'll have to clarify that. It looks very tall. Hmm. Hmm, what's this? Loud through the ages. It's one way of concealing a disused shop. So, going back to what I was saying about the uh, spire on this church, they were saying on internet it's, it confirms it's one of the very finest medieval steeples in the country. It's shorter than both Norwich Cathedral and Salisbury, but it's the tallest medieval parish church spire in the United Kingdom. It is the tallest medieval spire. Parish Church by in the United Kingdom. Yeah, it confused me that. It's clear. All's clear now. It doesn't look to me particularly the tallest, but it doesn't look too small either. Seeing out good. They're interesting. Coconut toasties. I've never oh, seen them before. Never come across them. On them tea cakes. Coconut flavoured toffee back there. Really nice them. I like coconut though. It's a good range. Butter tablets. Acid drops. They sound terrible. Oh, look at that licorice root. Oh, that's that Colt's Fault Rock that um, Naomi were telling you about the other day. Chocolate filled stones. What Some interesting stuff I've never seen before, are you? I don't know whether I want it though. Yeah, coffee crunch. Stem ginger. Yeah, you can get, I've seen that before. I've seen it once before. Mm. Yeah, it's good this street. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Right, pretty and cobbled and nice and unspoilt really, isn't it? It's lovely. It's narrow. Love it. Oh, Mark it all's here, dude. Well, you're going to have to go in there, aren't you? Yeah, we'll have a... Can't not. I wondered where she'd got to. It's just another way out. Is that it? Yeah.
Well, it looks like there's a, a bit of a market here. Just by the mason's arms. It must be closed off then, Rod. Got to be. So everybody's uh, walking in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, nobody's scared of anything passing by, including me. Including me. I'm lulled into a false sense of security too. A oh, bit of a market on a Saturday. Somebody didn't turn out. There's a few. I stopped at home because it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, maybe if they were selling liquids, maybe they'd be concerned if they're frozen. A lot of stalls, isn't there? There is. I thought there were everything you need. But there's uh, more than you think. Continues up here too. Cake. <laughs> These are cake for dogs. These are good, aren't they? Yeah, they're very apt. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. I've <laughs> <laughs> oh, just had some excellent fish and chips. They had the skin on there, didn't they? Yeah. Small Addican chips. £5.10. They're a bargain. Yeah, they were nice. Just couldn't eat it all. To say it were a small one. So you're going to eat a small fish and chips. We got them from there, the Parkinson's. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed them. It was the best I've had for several weeks. Yeah, I've had it for several weeks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I must have been craving them. Yeah. There's one there, we didn't we didn't notice that until we'd ordered. Can't vouch for that one. So hopefully we'll make it back and avoid the imminent rain shower. <coughs> Pavements are very narrow here, and oh. there's a lot. Oh, oh. oh, you've been distracted. Look at them. Oh, they look delicious. Look at that cheese there, Dolce scoop and stuff. Oh, look at them meringues, Dave. Look at them. Yeah. This that is my good. idea of heaven. Bakery shops, cheese shops. Oh, yes. Them plums look gorgeous. It looks good inside too. Cheese shop and deli. It smells like socks though. Sweaty <laughs> socks. I'm not sure a good cheese. <laughs> a rainy day in Louth. I'm a bit worried now. <clears throat> Thought you were going to have me. Everyone's quite relaxed at the minute, but I think a stampede could could evolve. There is a weather spring spot somewhere here, we haven't seen it. Oh, I've not been all the way around it yet. No. It's nice, isn't it, because the shops are all like little, tiny, aren't they? Little quaint little things. 
Yeah, it's a good mix of, you know, charity shops and things, if you like, ratting through them. Like your little boutique and independent traders and stuff. Plenty of that. Yeah, it's a nice little town. <laughs> I have been here before, Is but not, not in the capacity of a tourist. See the British Art Foundation over there. Oh, it's brightening up again. That's nice. I want to sauce myself a right good umber broly that's going to last. That's a We've good wind proof. I'm going to invest. Which are a fat lot of use at this moment in time. Look at that dog. Well, we did have two umbrellas with us, but I broke them all within 60 seconds, both of them. You should have filmed that, really. She yeah. managed to break two umbrellas I put one within up and two, it turned, two minutes. Turned straight inside out. <laughs> Um, and totally malfunction, won't go back together. And then, did the same with another one. The very cheapest though. That's why we brought them, to destroy them, when we needed them the most. <laughs> well, I walked around and I got a few funny looks because it were a absolutely buggered umbrella. But I weren't getting rid of it. Because <laughs> it was keeping me dry. <laughs> Nearly poking my eyes out with all wires inside it like, but... Yeah. It held off a bit of rain, that wasn't main thing. You see if we can cross without being killed. I think I might go in here, bargain buys. I like all <coughs> junk shops. We're about to see the wonkiest window ever. When we get out of this. He must be in a rush. And there it is. How did it get so bad? So we have managed to uh, have a look round Louth without parking in the uh, cattle market and what you'll find round Louth is many car parks because we did have a a drive round many of the car parks do have height, barrier. height barriers so that could be a problem it just depends on your vehicle but the cattle market of Louth seems to have it more or less sewn up so we managed to park a little bit further up from the cattle market in a a residential area rather than just giving in. But one thing what irks me about the cattle market is uh, there are no toilets. Now if they want the custom I think they're big enough to stand the cost of that infrastructure. I can I can sympathise with a small guy setting yeah. up a park up. It's not been sold as a just a car park, it's been sold as a motor home stop isn't it? You know, an overnight stay. Yeah, it seems to have sewn it up. I mean, I don't know, it's like £12 in a car park where there's no toilets is fine, but because like, that's what you expect. Um, but if you're staying somewhere where it's expected that it's for, well, it's, it's for motorhomes, then you'd think that there'd be more facilities. I don't know. Yeah, it's just my little rant. I want it to get put out there. If you want motorhomes, put the facilities in. Don't just expect it to happen yeah. and begrudge the cost of it. Yeah, it's um, £12 overnight and then it's £7 for daytime parking. And also, I'm not sure whether you have to pay for both. So, like, if you've got just overnight, that's just overnight. 
and then seven pound if you want to wander off for the day down into Lau. Well, here we are in Louth and you can park overnight at the cattle market and see there's a, a motorhome just coming out. Um, we didn't actually realise when we got here that that sign, we could have dealt with it, but it's just learning, I suppose. Yeah. We managed to find a bit of parking in the housing estate, but if we had a, a larger motorhome, it would have been an issue. And that completes our tour of Louth. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. It's not exhaustive, but it gives you a bit of an insight if you're considering bringing a motorhome into Louth. Yeah, nice little town, some quaint little shops, um, cheap fish and chips. Um, so, yeah. Those fish and chips were lovely. I don't think you got as much pleasure out of it as me, but I've certainly liked it. Yeah. Okay, many thanks for watching and why not subscribe to see us again in the near future.